The Titans used an NFL record 91 players this season. <laughs> that obviously sounds very complicated, but John, when you talk about the specifics of how that works for a team, for the football staff, for the coaching staff, for everybody, how do you make that work? What are the complicated parts of using 91 guys? Yeah, I think, you know, Mike, certainly when, you know, when you go into the game each and every week, you you, you know, you're not counting on injuries. You think they're going to happen, but you have to be ready to to react to, to what happens in the game and guys that get nicked up here or there, you know, certainly dealing with COVID still with COVID replacements and how all that stuff goes. But you know, I think it's a testament to our personnel staff, our pro staff having evaluated, talk through players that may, you know, that might could come in and help us. And then the coaching staff, you know, those guys being adaptive, spending extra time with these guys, getting them ready on a week in and week out basis. And our teammates, you know, their teammates accepting them and trying to help them go out and try to help us on game week. John, the Titans defense improved dramatically. Let me throw some numbers at you. Nearly 70 less yards and a touchdown less per game than in 2020. 23 more sacks. Third down defense was 15% better. What made all of that happen? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we certainly turned that side of the ball over uh, this, you know, this past off season. But, you know, I think the biggest thing is probably the communication, Amy. Those guys, week in and week out at, at practice, you know, the, the call comes in and the formation changes and, you know, they're in this offensively and then they shift their motion to that. And, and those guys are talking, they're communicating, they're getting on the same page with whatever check may be. Uh, in place, you know, the games, the pass rush games up front, being on the same page there. Just a great job by the coaches to continue to stress, you know, the importance of the communication piece on defense and then the players executing it in practice and then carrying it over to the games. John Deontay Foreman and Dontrell Hilliard combined to rush for over 900 yards and catch 28 passes in the last nine games. They were so effective. What made that duo work so well at the running back spot down the stretch? I mean, skill set wise, you can see it when you watch them play. It's a different skill set that they both have. Both catch the ball really well. You know, Foreman's a little bigger back. He's a little more downhill power guy. Dontrell's got some shiftiness, a little bit of cut and slash to his skill set. But I think the biggest thing was, you know, those guys were they were at home. They were working out. They didn't they didn't have a job. And you know, we gave them an opportunity. And like I said earlier, their, their teammates welcomed them and, and and got them on the same page with what we're about as an organization, as a football team. And those guys got a taste of success and 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 they seized the opportunity and they didn't want to let it go. You know, they kept working a week in and week out in the meeting room, on the practice fields, and their success showed on game days. What impressed you the most about Ryan Tannehill's season? He's such a you know commanding leader. He's done a great job from a leadership standpoint uh, on the offensive side of the football. It's really been a, a point of emphasis uh, down the stretch here to take care of the football. He's been ever mindful of that. He made some huge plays running the football. The San Francisco game comes to mind on the scramble where he got us down there to kick the game winner. So, you know, both as a runner, as a passer, as a leader, you know, he's really done a good job for us this season. So from a football standpoint, how do you spend this weekend when you're not playing? Yeah, well, it'd be a good, great chance for our players to, to get some rest. We've gotten some work in this week uh, with the downtime, some conditioning, a little bit of stuff on the field. Let guys get healthy. You know, that's the big thing about this that has been about this bye week is, is getting guys healthy so that, we, you know, hopefully we're 100%. But, you know, we're looking forward to getting back at it and making a run at this thing in the playoffs.